celebrities react to uh, billionaires donating money to the federal government, even as uh, 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 President Muhammadu Buhari's uh, personal assistant angrily fires Lola. President Buhari's personal assistant Bashir Ahmad has blasted the wife of the Nigerian musician Peter Okoye, Lola Omotayo, for asking about where Buhari's chief of staff, Abba Kiari, is. In a viral video, Lola Omotayo has demanded that the government open up to Nigerians on the whereabouts of Abba Kiari, who recently tested positive for the COVID-19 disease. According to Lola, nobody knows where he is following his treatment, whether he's in Lagos, Abuja, or has been flown elsewhere for treatment. To her, Nigerians deserve to know. Responded to that, to that by uh, Buhari's PA, Bashir Ahmed had, has asked her to use the same energy to find out where the other corona patients are and leave our care alone. His response, though I really don't know who this Lola is, but someone close to her should please tell her to leave Abakiari to recuperate in peace. He is in Lagos and responding well to treatment. If it's caring, she should also use the same energy to ask the whereabouts of other COVID-19 patients. This comes after investigative journalist and blogger Kemi Olunoyo noted that an executive member of Buhari's government has died of the coronavirus. All right, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? Don't you think it's um, worthy of um, every citizen to know the status and the situation of uh, and the condition of the president's chief of staff since he's a public servant and he's working for the president of the country? Is there any need for such to be hidden? Well, guys, it's what it is. Um, president Mamadou Buhari's administration is known for secrecy and um, you know hiding facts and distorting facts as well, all to their own advantage and interest. Well, that's what it is. Similarly, other celebrity celebrity blasts Dangote, Tinubu, and others. Why are you donating money to known thieves? Nigerian celebrity blast Dangote Tinubu and others. Popular online celebrity Abisoye Olukoya Michael, aka Onye, Oye Mike, has blasted the likes of Aliko Dangote, Bola Tinubu, Tony Elumelu, Femi Otedola, Herbert Uigwe, Shegun Agbaje, and so on, for donating millions of naira to the federal government of Nigeria to fight to help fight. COVID-19 outbreak in the nation. Oyem Ike questioned the actions of these wealthy Nigerian billionaires as he feels they can use the money to provide health kits like face masks, sanitizers, medical infrastructures and food for the poor during this lockdown period, then give it to the federal government. According to Oyem Ike, the government cannot be trusted with such funds. He made this known on a video recording which he posted on Instagram. He said, you are donating to known thieves, people that convert systemic cash that will use it in buying houses and cars in different parts of the world. You are donating your own hard-earned money that you can use in building hospitals, cause hospitals cause. We don't have working hospital and you know the hospitals are crashing. The furious Ponya Mike went further to disclose what he think the Buhari led government will do with the donations. He concluded, what will the Nigerian federal government do with two billion two billion dollars? They will put it in their pocket. So that means you, Dangote Ako, are causing more chaos. Why can't you use the money and build hospital that will run for two years at the least? All right, guys, what are your thoughts on this particular issue that Oye Mike has said? 
do you think that it would have been better if the funds were donated to uh or were given to individuals directly or were using to buy food stuff and shared amongst people instead of giving the money to the federal government do you really think the federal government needed the money or do you think that uh, the federal government you know has enough money to actually take care of itself why the the likes of dangote tinubu femi otedola Herbert Wige, Wigwe, um, Jim Ovia, you know, Shegun Agbaje, and the likes gave the federal government such amount of money. Could it be, uh, you know, to register their presence or could it be to secure favor, one, one favor or the other from the federal government, do you think? What could their reasons actually be? Well, let's take a few comments and hear what um, people are saying uh, concerning this. I saw Egbe says anyone donating to government is only playing politics because the government are not the right people to be donated to. Do you agree with this person? To a very large extent, yes. They are not the government are not the ones to be donated money to. The government is rich and is capable of handling herself. Ghana Julian says rich doesn't listen to the poor. That's just the gospel truth. Nigeria should know that those donating funds to the federal government were thieves, criminals and they support criminals while rich with all any condition why would the rich with uh, why would the rich listen to the poor another person says they just did it so people will see it as if they are helping nigerians flamex says they know their source do you agree with that yes another person joseph ogedenbe says that is true we are we a lot of people living around them the workers friends and family members some of them are going through hell at this period and to help them so difficult they did this to get more contract from the government god help us in this country guys could this be true to a very large extent it could be true because some of them don't even pay tax some of them enjoy tax waivers so they do these things as show off and uh you know to actually get favors from the government on policies and um what have you well guys another person says you all donating money to a scam apc the most fraudulent party in nigeria you have made a big mistake all right guys so what are your thoughts do you agree with Onye mike and other people that donating money to the federal government by the nigerian billionaires is a wrong step in the wrong direction well let's um feel or understand what you say or understand how, what your thoughts are on this particular issue. Meanwhile, Apostle Johnson Suleiman has said, I will never donate money to the federal government because they are not poor. Instead, I will give it to the poor. Apostle Johnson Suleiman, the founder of Omega Fire Ministry, said on his post on Twitter that he can't donate money to the federal government because they are not poor. The, he do, the donation should be given direct to the poor masses and the government who might withhold it and share it among themselves. Apostle Johnson Suleiman showed his donation to people on Twitter and he advised others who are donating to share it among the poor and not the government. Some of his followers on Twitter was thanking him for helping them and they said, God help you and your family for helping us in the bad situation. Well, guys, do you think what Apostle Johnson Suleiman has said or done is actually um, right? Do you think it's the right step? Let me quickly read the tweet at Apostle Suleiman. I hear people are calling me out for not giving money to government to combat the COVID-19. Government is not hungry. Why should I give them God will reward my wife and I for the hundreds of millions we have given this period. We give to the poor directly. Giving is for the needy and not the greedy. Guys, what are your thoughts on this particular news story? Do you agree with Apostle Johnson Suleiman that um, giving to the government is not right? Do you agree with him that giving to the needy is out to the poor is and directly is the best option yes to me for me i believe and i agree with him the government is not poor the government does not need it the government knows how to take care of themselves and they know how to go about it because majority of these people are looters and they are thieves 
majority of them will loot the money and put in their pocket and um, nobody will question them. So if you need to give, you give out to the poor people directly. Go to the poor people. If you don't know how to get to them, look for foundations, look for uh, people who can access. Go to the villages, go to communities. Go there directly and do the needful and give them the support that you need to give to them. And this will be well appreciated and it will be seen as a direct um, cushion and palliative to the people which is very very important well guys what are your thoughts on this particular news story i'd like to hear from you kindly drop by the comment section let us know what your thoughts are please don't forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post a new story thank you so much guys and have a wonderful time i'll see you on the other news bye for now and thank you